Hi, I'm Lily from the Somerville Public Library, and I'm here with two other librarians, Chantil and Allison, and today we're going to talk about some really wonderful fall reads. So Allison, why don't you get started with some children's books? Sure. Um, I've brought two books today. The first one is called The Stuff of Stars, and it's by Marion Dane Bauer and illustrated by Yuka Holmes, and she's actually a local illustrator. She lives Ooh. in Boston. And um, a number of the children's librarians in Somerville had the opportunity to meet her, which was Ooh, amazing. Oh. She spoke at Candlewick Press, another Somerville business. Um, and we got to hear about the process that she used for illustrating this book, which was really incredible. I mean, look at some of these um, illustrations. She used Whoa. this marbleized paper and a collage um, combination. The book is kind of a lyrical, poem-esque um, creation story, uh, kind of Big Bang and how the earth was created, how people were created, and that in and of itself is fantastic, but then you add in these illustrations oh, wow. um, and it really makes for a special book. Um, when we heard Ms. Holmes speak, she said that one thing that's different um, in the way that she did these illustrations is she used pieces that weren't perfect. And many people who are doing marbleized paper would say, oh, that's not balanced, that's not even, and they would throw it out. And that's actually what she used mm -hmm. um, to make these fabulous Ooh. illustrations. So I really like this book. I'm actually thinking of getting it from my mother as a holiday gift because she is really into all of this kind of stuff. I don't know if she'll be watching this and get a surprise <laughs> room there. But, um, but this just came in last week. We do have it at the Somerville Public Library. And again, it's a local publisher and a local illustrator, which I think is really nice. Very cool. So check that awesome. out. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a special book. Mm -hmm. um, then the other book I brought is very different. I have brought Do Not Open This Math Book. Um, Sold. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Say no more. And this is by Danica McKellar, who's a mathematician. She also is the actress who played um, Winnie on The Wonder Years. Yeah. Oh, so she, yeah. So she had two totally different careers, which yeah. is awesome. Um, we make a big effort to get books that our patrons have requested um, and you know, meet the needs of our patrons. And I had a lot of people in in September asking for math books for mm. kids, and not not a textbook, but you know, like fun math books. So do not open this math book. Um, it's really cute. It has a lot of illustrations and little cartoons okay. and graphic design, um, graphic you know graphic panels. Um, it has all sorts of exercises and activities that make you make make math fun. Um, so I like that mouse. Is he featured throughout? The mouse is all through the book. The mouse is really cute. Um, so I definitely recommend this book. We have a lot of other math books too, if that's what you're into. Um, and they're all pretty fun. And this was on our new shelf the other day, and one of the kids was like, why can't I open that math book? <laughs> 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 What's wrong with that math book? So it's definitely, I think the title makes it pretty attractive. Um, and again, like if there's other books that people want at the library, we are happy to track them down and find them. If it's something that is in the Minuteman Library Network, we can get it for you in a couple days. If it's something different, we can order it, um, because we really want to make sure that we have the books that our patrons want. So math is wanted and math we have so good <laughs> so that's what I brought awesome, awesome. Yeah. I'm not a huge math person but that actually makes math seem right? very it's appealing really to me. it's really so. cute um, and like throughout it there'll be a break from the math and like some text and little mm -hmm. interaction so it's really it's great. a fun book I think maybe yeah. I should read that Mm -hmm. For a little refresher, it's been a while mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. and Matt. Oh, look, there's cats. There are cats. I love oh, cats. Oh, perfect. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. We're, yeah, we're Let's good. read that. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have, Chantel? Okay, so I have a couple of adult fiction choices. Um, the first is this book called The Incendiaries by R.O. Kwan. Uh, this is her debut novel, and it's – actually, I just finished this last night, and it was mm -hmm. quite an intense read. Uh, I thought it was very well done for a debut novel. Um, but it's about two college students at kind of a, um, like an East Coast elite school. Um, the main character, Will, uh, he has just experienced a really intense loss of faith. He was a very strong Christian, and he meets this girl and falls in love with her. Her name's Phoebe, um, and kind of in lingering in the background, there's this third character named John. I Leo. read about this You book. did? Yes. Oh, oh my goodness, I okay. I read it, but I re must have read a review oh. or read the yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. how, so. <laughs> yes. <Tell me> yes. <laughs> now I really yeah. want to read it. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I actually found it online too through a book list. Okay. Um, so, and it's gotten, I think, a good amount of buzz. Celeste yes. Ng, who's a local author that we love oh, over love in Cambridge, her. left a very warm review on okay. the back for mm -hmm. it. 
Um, so, and I feel like actually Juan did a really great job of kind of detailing what a loss of faith is like, and there's a lot of, there's characters who are grieving and dealing with that, and the way that she details that is, is actually really beautiful and profound. So, um, I would cry? definitely. I didn't cry, but it was like, it was a very weighty book. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, a it's not crier. like a beach read or like <laughs> a, I'm gonna, anyway, it's a, it, there's, it really packs a punch, I think. But anyway, awesome. and the cover art is just, it's yeah. really cool yeah, and like grabs the eye. So, awesome. uh, my second pick um, is actually one that I've been listening to via Libby, which is our audiobook Love Libby. app. Um, Love so, it. I'm gonna make a plug for that really quick. Uh, this was my first time using Libby, and it was super easy mm -hmm. to set up an account and I've been listening at home and in my car on my commute so I've been really enjoying that uh, it's very user-friendly but the book is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins uh, you might recognize her she's the best-selling author of The Girl on the Train which oh, is yeah. um, which I also really loved when that came out uh, it's like a domestic thriller so this is kind of similar to that um, there was like a, a murder that happened in the countryside in Ooh. England. Uh, and I really actually enjoy the audiobook because it's this large British cast who's. Oh, it's a cast, uh, not just one. It's, no, like the, because there's 11 different perspectives mm -hmm. in the novel, okay. which is a lot to keep up with. But I mean, listening to British people talk I love is British really <laughs> fun. <laughs> so I'm, I'm maybe about a third of the way through the book, okay. but it's pretty compelling and I'm, I'm excited I've, to see I've what happens. Very good. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it'll keep you book. guessing. Okay, so, great. Yeah. That's what I want in a mystery. So, so. <laughs> yeah. So that's it for me. Awesome. Well, I um, have two books that are sort of tied into library programs that we're doing. So um, first, The Immortalists, uh, which is our October Books and Brews pick. Mm -hmm. I've made a plug for Books and Brews, I think, every time we do this, but I really <laughs> love it. It's well, so it's much fun. It's, it's really, really, it's really awesome. It's really fun. Yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. Books and Brews meets the third Tuesday of every month at Aeronaut Brewery. We love collaborating with them, and the group actually picks the book. So, I'm not always that excited, I'll be honest. I'm, you know, there's a lot of nonfiction, but this book I was really excited to read, um, The Immortalists by Chloe Benjamin. It's the story of this family, or these children in a family that, it's around the 1960s, and they um, go, they find out about this seer, this woman who's potentially a seer. They're living in lower Manhattan, and they go and they learn the dates of their deaths from her, or so they, they think maybe, right? It's sort of a mm -hmm. dark read, and I think it's a good one for October. So it begins with this scene where they're all learning about the dates of their death, and then the story moves forward, and um, sort of shows how that Sears prediction has affected their lives. And you don't find out the dates of their death until the very end of each story. So you don't find out if she's right or not, and I won't give it away. Um, but it is a bit dark, um, but in a kind of nice autumnal October way. All right, I'll yeah, put it on my list. Right? I'm I like the cover too. Yes. the cover is beautiful. <laughs> it really is. It's really nice. I know you can't tell a book by its cover, but but if you, you know, could. Some of them really do make you want to read the book. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, so that is interesting. Uh, next up, I have Exit West, which I think that everyone here has read mm -hmm. yes. at this point. Mm -hmm. um, so Exit West is actually our Somerville Reads pick for 2018. We're going to be doing some programming around it in the month of November. Um, we have like a thousand copies of the book available <laughs> at all of our branches right now. So if you want to read it. Um, it's definitely available. Uh, Exit West is the story of two refugees in an unnamed country who are forced to leave. Um, and it's, there's a sort of interesting magical realism plot point uh, where instead of having to travel like a, a refugee might in our world, uh, there are these black doors that appear and you can just, just directly travel from one place to another, which is really interesting in the author um, uses it as a vehicle to sort of not talk about the travel, which is I think is what we always talk about with refugees, to talk about sort of the emotional aftermath and the decisions. Mm -hmm. Um, I, what, did you guys like it? What did you think? Yeah, I thought it was a great story. And, I, and I, again, as you said, like the, the author has chosen to focus on the why mm -hmm. people are refugees, why they're leaving one country and going to another, um, rather than the how. So, yeah. mm -hmm. so um, 
rather than focusing on those details, it's really the emotional part of it. Yep, um, yep, I agree. It's a good book, and, and mm -hmm. from what I've heard from people in town who are reading it already, they're pretty happy yeah. with mm -hmm. it. You know, they're, they're looking forward to discussing it. And yeah, we'll have definitely. four book discussions, right? Yep, yep, yep. so we'll and have a book discussion at each branch, and mm -hmm. actually this will be our November Books and Brews pick. Um, books and Brews. It's all over the place, <laughs> um, but we're not giving people a choice. They just are going to read this book in November and they'll love it. Uh, but I think they will. So they will like it. But we'll we'll also have. Um, there's no real companion children's book for this. Some years, for some of our reads, we've had a companion children's book. But this year, um, instead, we'll have a list of suggested books on immigration and refugees um, that'll be available online and at mm -hmm. the libraries for children. Yep, and we're going to have a couple of larger programs in addition to the book club and discussion meetings. Um, so we're hopefully going to have a block party over in East Somerville, which should be really fun. Um, sort of an all-ages event. It's not really an all-ages book, but we want right. it to be inclusive for the community. Um, and then we're also hoping to have a panel discussion on immigration. So I think that yeah, that will be interesting. Be yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. It's very so timely. Absolutely. And that's what we've got going on at the Somerville Public Library this autumn. So for more information about Somerville Reads, um, check out our website for sure. Uh, we also always post our events on Facebook, so you can follow along with Books and Brews and all of the um, Somerville Reads programming there. Otherwise, we have information at the branches, and like I mentioned earlier, we have copies of Exit West at all of the branches as well. There are certainly copies available everywhere. <laughs> <laughs>